In our last video, we went over how to make this part, and in this one, what we're going to do is find other ways to define the center without necessarily needing dimensions. So whenever I click on the right-hand side here, I'm going to make another circle that's exactly in the middle of the side. Now, we could go in, add the circle, and add dimensions, but instead of doing that, we're going to use construction lines. Construction lines, just like hand drafting, allow you to kind of position things, but Inventor doesn't treat them as being real lines. So they are just to lay out and get an idea of what's going on. To turn on a construction line, all you need to do is go up to the format option, and then you're going to click on that first option on the top left, which is construction lines. Once you have that selected, nothing really changes, but you're going to see a different line when we make it. So when I go to line now, uh, I'm going to go through, I'm going to find a midpoint. So if I drag along here, it's going to go ahead and snap. You'll see how it kind of just snaps and gets a little larger right to the middle. I'm going to click once to draw my line. I'm going to bring it straight down and click again. You'll see that it's blue because in Inventor, a midpoint is fully defined. So this line knows it's vertical and it knows that it's midpoint. So it knows exactly where it's at. And we're gonna do the same thing here on the left-hand side. So I'll find my midpoint, see it snap, and then we'll go over here and snap that one. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and draw my circle. And I know that if it's halfway here and halfway there, I have an exact center point. So I can go in, find my center point, click. I'll set that as 0.5. And you'll notice that it's still green, and you'll also notice that it's dotted. If I were to finish my sketch right now and try to extrude it, Inventor's going to give me an error saying that it doesn't have a closed loop. So I need to go back in here and edit Sketch 3. And Sketch 3 needs to tell me that I want to go ahead and have an actual line here to do something with. To do that, all you need to do is first off make sure you have nothing selected, click on the line that you want to turn off construction lines for, and then simply turn them off. You'll see that it shows up there. I can finish my sketch and now I can extrude it and I'll cut it back one inch and it goes all the way through the part. And that's a really easy way to use construction lines. Another one, if you wanted to do this, uh, especially on a part like this where we want to find the dead center, but we might not have the dimensions, we can use a construction line. So I'm selecting line, then construction. I'm going from corner to corner. On a rectangular part, all you need to do to find the center is go from one corner to the other. So I'm going to set it up here go opposite corners, wherever those two lines meet is going to be your exact dead center point. This is used in woodworking and a whole bunch of other places, but we're making sure that we have it there. And I also, before I drew that circle, turned off my construction lines. You can see that it's blue, I'm ready to go, I'll finish my sketch, extrude, and then I'm going to cut it down one inch, and I'm ready to go. So that's an easy way to use construction lines. They can be used for lots of other things. I use them constantly. Uh, and depending on how you like to draft, some people like using them and some don't. Uh, but for things where I don't want to do dimensions and I just kind of want to figure out where things are at quickly, this is an easy way to do it. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in our next video.